In this video, I start at Three Shires Stone at Rhinos Pass, visit Red Tarn, take in some fabulous views, tackle a very bad step, get to grips with a banana, visit two tarns and a puddle pass, stand on a very big slab and get surprised on a summit. This is my 2023 Wainwright Society Challenge. The walk I'm doing today is a challenge. Not particularly a challenge for me, I've done this uh, a few times before, but it's a challenge set to the members of the Wainwright Society, of which I'm a member, to raise money for charities. The Wainwright Society sets a series of walks for members to complete uh, based on a theme, based on walks in Wainwright's books and this year it's Westmoreland is the theme. The walk I'm doing is over Crinkle Crags to Bowfell which used to be the border between the old counties of Westmoreland and Cumberland. Where I started from back down at Rhinos Pass there, there is the Three Shires Stone. That's where there is not only a boundary between the, the two old counties, but also with Lancashire. So the three counties all came together at that point. The stone, as you can see, has been restored. It was broken recently, and I believe it's the National Trust. We have to thank for, uh, repairing and restoring that stone. The reason I chose the route from Rhinos is that, as Wainwright himself pointed out, it saves about a thousand feet of climbing to get up to Crinkle Crags and onto Bowfell. And it is fairly steady incline all the way and makes it Quite a pleasant walk actually, especially on days like this. Fine view of uh, the Langdale Pikes from here. Pike is stick all prominent there. Uh, turning a bit cold, the wind is uh, pretty fresh, so I'm getting my jacket back on again. I've uh, come off the main path a little bit, it's only about 20 yards or so off the path to get views down here. This is Oxendale and Great Langdale down there, so that's quite a good view. You also get pretty good views over that way 
to the crinkle crags themselves. So yeah, it's a good spot here. Um, glad I took the little excursion. What I failed to mention earlier, that the designated charity for this year's challenges for the society is the Mountain Rescue Association for the Lake District. So any funds raised this year, not through just through the challenges, but also through the calendar sales and any other activities will be donated to the Mountain Rescue Association of the Lake District. Well, here we are. This is the first crinkle, top of. Four more to go. And from here, we get the first view of the Scarfells, stunning across the upper reaches of the Esk Valley. Now it's over to the second crinkle, which is the highest one. But of course, that means negotiating the bad step. The bad step is an almost vertical slab of rock on the side of a gully with loose scree at the bottom and a chalk stone at the top. Wainwright called it the most difficult obstacle met on any of the regular walker's paths in Lakeland. There are ways around it, but as usual, I'm going straight up. This is the second and highest crinkle. From here, we're starting to get our first uninterrupted views over to Bowfell, over there, which is our ultimate target. So, three more to go. This wide scree gully between the second and third crinkle is known as Mickle Door. Third crinkle. This is the only named crinkle. It's known as Gunson Knot, or at least that's what's showing on the Ordnance Survey maps. Wainwright would beg to differ on this. The ridge plan in his guidebook shows the fifth crinkle as being Gunson Knot. And the fourth crinkle. And this is the fifth crinkle. Last of the crinkle crags. Next it's over that way, and that's over to Shelter Crags. And that's a continuation of the ridge to Three Tarns Pass, and then up onto Bowfell. Off we go.
Okay, so this is Shelter Crags. This is the last of the ridge of the Crinkle Crags. And then it's down to three towns past that you can possibly see behind me. And then up onto Bowfell, the big one. But forward to that. Well, just having a break. I'm at Three Towns Pass. So it's a good place to stop, have a breather before tackling uh, the summit of Ophel. There's quite a rocky path heading up onto the summit plateau. So I'll uh, have a banana and get my strength up. Ready for that. Oh well, that was a bit of a pull up there, but I'm up onto the uh, the plateau just before the summit of Bowfell. The summit is just up there with an easy reach now. But first of all, I'm going to pop over this way just behind me, and we'll go and see the great slab of flat crags. Some walkers, with eyes only on the summit, fail to come across this way, and therefore miss out on the tremendous views over the imposing line of crags that overlook Mickledon. Wainwright said, to miss seeing the crags is to miss seeing half the glory of Bowfell. For me, the reason for climbing Bowfell is the crags. And this is it. I'm standing on the top of the great slab and it's uh, magnificent huge great flat slab that seemed to be just hanging on the side of the mountain. Wonderful. Okay, let's go and get that summit ticked off now. Well, here I am at last, top of Bowfell. Fantastic it is too. Crinkle Crags over there. Got S Pipe there, the sun setting behind the Scarfells. Apparently, the county boundary for Westmoreland used to come over the Crinkle Crags there and right over the top of here, I think. I wonder if the new Furness and Westmoreland boundary comes this way too. I'll have to look that one up. And just when you think you've got a summit to yourself, someone sneaks up on you. The only problem is uh, coming all this way is I've got to go all the way back again. <laughs> <laughs> 